Hi everyone, and hello to everyone watching on Playback. Who's my naughty dog? He's being naughty. Cyril, no. <laughs> oh, people here already. Hi Kate, hi Patricia, hi Diane, hi Anne-Marie, hi Stephen, hi Diane. Oh, I said hi Diane. <laughs> See, we'll be quiet, you know, in the bad books. <coughs> Hi, Caroline. No. Sorry, I'm just talking to the dog. He's just heard another dog barking out the front. So he thinks it's in the back garden, so he wants to go out. And I'm not letting him, because he's in trouble. The neighbours have been complaining. <laughs> How is everyone this morning? I'm going to paint a pheasant. <laughs> um, I've sort of drawn it out, if you can see, because I wanted to fit it all in. And the way I paint, I paint really big and I get a bit carried away and then I can't fit everything in. <laughs> so I've planned, but I haven't planned so much as to change my water again. It's not good. <laughs> mm. Uh, I've missed something. The man. <laughs> hi everyone. Hi Marge. I, I'm just gonna paint a, a pheasant. <laughs> I think someone requested a pheasant. I can't remember what I said I'd paint yesterday. I forgot. My brain doesn't work anymore. Um, right, orange and blue pheasants. Thinking orange and blue. So I've got several palettes here and I'm not sure what colour to start with. I'll start with these orangey belly. Have I got an orange, a nice orangey colour? Yeah, that would do. <laughs> Sorry if you can't see it, I'll scoot over a little bit, but then I can't get in the corner. I've got my heating on, it's cold this morning. <laughs> right. I've got that lovely yellow, can't find it, I've probably used it up. This colour here is um, Windsor Newton Quinacridone, I was probably saying wrong gold. <laughs> and I've got it in here too, so I'm going to start off with that. <laughs> I've got this little squirrel hair mop brush here. Do you call it a mop brush? I don't know what you call it. Yeah, it's a mop brush. I don't often use them because they're a bit floppy, but I want to keep it nice and loose. So I'm just going to drop it in. This is the Windsor and Newton. Probably not going to. It's got a white bit that may have a, like a white collar. So. It's got blue head, but it probably go green because I've got that yellow and so I'm just slapping on a bit of colour. Uh -huh. then he has red bits too, like our chicken yesterday. <laughs> so I'm just going to sort of drop a bit of red in. It's not going to be very bright, is it? I just like it to run in. Here comes that snorty Cyril pants again. So naughty. Uh, I think he's found, I put some sausage in his bowl. I think he's found it. Now he's running around trying to find somewhere to hide it. Does anyone else's dog do that? <laughs> Hide their food places. I will be giving him too much so he doesn't, can't eat it all at once. <laughs> and then I find bits of food that is hidden places. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely day today. Lovely. <laughs> I'm trying to do this pheasant like this sort of sitting down in the grass. 
I went for a drive yesterday, finally. I thought, yay, freedom. <laughs> so I went for a drive with my son and Cyril came and we went for a little sort of over the Weirdale hills like the North Pennines. It was beautiful. I saw curlews and I saw pheasants. I love curlews. That's his like tail, <laughs> if you didn't guess. <laughs> That's why I did him right over in the corner. Pheasants are a bit dumb. Oh, they're so, they just, this one that I was out walking once and um, it got spooked by us and it just must have flown into the fence about 10 times before it realized it could fly over it. <laughs> They have like speckledy bellies. Their colours are so beautiful. I'm going to try and get that lovely blue colour they have in them. But they've got speckledy bits. And then they have... I've forgotten how their tails go. Oh, I've painted pheasants so many times. And then, and then I forget what their tail feathers look like. I have got some somewhere. They breed them for shooting up here. There's lots of them. And, um, what do you call them? Grouses. There's loads of grouse up here. Loads. Anne Marie's just asking, what am I creating? I'm painting a pheasant. The little pheasant. They have blue bits in their feathers. I'm trying not to make it go too green, even though they're quite greeny. We have like black, I've seen a black pheasant up here as well. Really dark one. It's sort of sitting in the um, ground. <laughs> I think my camera, I'm just going to clean the lens a bit, hang on, bear with me, make some on it, it's got a bit hazy looking. <laughs> See, that's so much better. I've, I've sort of messed up his face a bit, this brush is really floppy, flippy floppy. I don't know, I haven't got as much control over it, which is probably quite good when you're trying to do a loose painting, but I'm just trying to get the main colours in. So you can see that's his head. I didn't want it to run too much. It's dried already. It's dried quickly. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to stick some bleach on him. I don't like it when it starts drying and it doesn't. Need some colour. A bit of salt. Got some little texture. It's gone a bit um, textury. <laughs> Too many blooms. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna come in with a dark colour because I want to get some more like speckles in them um, on his belly. Yeah, Cyril likes to stick his head out the window sometimes. This one. There was loads of sheep in the road as well yesterday, and I think they got used to not many people being around. It is beautiful where I live. I'm trying to do like pheasant feathers. I know they're like stripy. <laughs> Probably won't look that brilliant, but I'm trying. <laughs> it's making a mess. It's making a mess. It does look quite pheasanty. <laughs> Hi Negrita. Yeah, sheep on the road. They just roam all over the um, dales up here. 
lots of sheep with their babies. And I was quite happy because often I see um, dead ones where they've been run over by stupid people who've got no road sense. But um, they were, I didn't see any. I think it's because there hasn't been many cars around, which is good. Hi, Julian. Didn't think I said hello to you. You love the colours I'm sloshing in. Thank you. They are quite bright colour birds, so um, I was trying to um, get the colours right, but I don't know if they have. Uh, it does look like a pheasant. I'm not, I'm not very happy with his tail at the minute. <laughs> Keep working on it. I want this to dry a bit so I can get some more. They have really stripy feathers on their tails. Do -do. And his tummy's got two blobs in, so I'm going to add a bit more bleach. Uh, I'm just going to blot it out a bit because I want the light to be catching them in a way. I'm going to add some more um, kunik, 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 what own yellow. <laughs> Never say it. What's this one here? Kunik, kunik, own gold, should I say? Yes, that's better. I just wanted to make his. The goldness of him stick out a bit more, but I'm not sure if I'm quite managing it. Doesn't matter, it's okay, he looks cool. He'll pass as a pheasant. <laughs> I'm gonna stick some grass so it doesn't look like he's floating in the air. Okay, Julie. <laughs> it's like when I'm called Michelle, not, I don't often get called Michelle. And you feel like I'm getting called Michelle when I've obviously done something wrong. <laughs> it's my official telling off name. He's sitting in the grass, pretending he's not there, saying, no, you can't shoot me, I'm hiding. But they're a bit dumb. Bless them. But <laughs> you can't really see him very well, because he needs an eye. <laughs> Common land is um, land where um, the farmers, well, it's sort of owned. I don't know if it's owned by the farmers or it's owned by, um, you can graze your animals on it. <laughs> or the farmers graze their animals on it, something like that. It's free, like um, the North Pennines where I live, they just let the sheep graze the land. <laughs> Yeah, what Stephen says. <laughs> you hear funny noises. It's my dog hiding his um, treats in his um, his sausage. <laughs> I made. Um, what did I make? Toad in the hole. And there was a sausage left over, so he's got it for breakfast. But he's obviously not hungry, <laughs> so he's hiding it. I don't like my pheasant. I'm not in a pheasanty mood this morning. Now I can't reach my. Excuse me. I'm going to do some sanding. Maybe if I give him an eye, but I was, it was all a bit wet and splodging into everything, he might look more like a pheasant. It's 
it straight bleach. It's bleach we use for cleaning here and um, like kitchen bathroom cleaner. <laughs> Hi Marina, I don't know if I said hello. <laughs> yeah, and it's diluted, sorry. I feel... Thank you, Kate. It does look like a pheasant. I think it's because when I'm not looking at it, if I look at it through the um, screen, it looks like a pheasant. <laughs> I don't know, it's adding some. Add more salt. <laughs> the sweet pheasant, no, I don't know if they're sweet. They're, um, they're strange birds, <laughs> they look pretty. <laughs> I still saw, was it last year when I was out driving, there were some little baby ones following the mum down the road. It was really cute. They were so tiny. I can't remember, we, I, we stopped to um, take pictures. I don't know where the pictures are there. I think it was last year. I thought they were going to get run over. Everything likes sitting in the road. The sheep like licking the the um, tarmac up here. It must be the salt on the road <laughs> from the gritters. <laughs> they just lick the um, salt off of it. Yeah. I was going to, my quails, I did hatch some baby quails um, a couple of years ago. And um, I was going to hatch some more this year, but I think my quails, the ones I've got left, they they don't want to lay any eggs at the minute. And I don't know why. And now he's got a green beak. Go away. <laughs> I'm taking ages doing this. <laughs> I'm starting to fiddle around too much because I don't like the look of him. <laughs> anyway, right, get on with it. Do his eye and then he might come to life a bit. I'm, I'm going to use this black brush pen. I always find if you do an eye, then they come to life a bit. They have funny little beady eyes. And just add some detail to his little beak. <laughs> His beady pheasant eye. I tried to try and make it's really hard to um when I'm doing like fabric designs <laughs> it's really hard to try and make I have to make things look happy. <laughs> you try and make a pheasant look happy. <laughs> or a fish. That's it. I did all these lovely trouts. And um, my agent got back to me and said, you got lovely paintings, they're beautiful, Michelle, but um, can you make them look a bit happier? So I was like, have you ever seen a fish smile? No. <laughs> right, I'll stop picking on the pheasant. Poor fella, he's had a hard life. He doesn't know how to get over a fence. He's a handsome chap though, look at him. <laughs> yeah, a happy trout. Did I show you my trout paintings? I don't know if I did. I think I did. Yeah, I did. They didn't look happy when you saw them because that was before I changed the um, faces on Photoshop. <laughs> if I had to make them like smiley. And I always get told, like, Michelle, they're dead eyes. 
your animals have got dead eyes it's because I never put, forget to put the highlights on right so I'm going to give him a highlight he might come to life a bit <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing anybody coming in. I'm trying to make my pheasant happy. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. He's going to come alive a bit now, I think. If I put a little bit of highlight in his eye. Be like, no, I'm not a silly pheasant. And a bit on his beak. And a bit on his bits. I don't know what those bits are called. What are those red bits called? They've got a special name and I never know. They're called something. They have um, a special name for the pheasant and chicken bits that are around their face. <laughs> ah, thank you, Patricia. Yeah, if you see a fish smile, Kerry, you let me know <laughs> so I can paint it. <laughs> Uh, he looks more pheasanty now. I think I've finished him because I'm going to start fiddling around with him. He's not very um, loose and free, but it's a bit fiddly. He wasn't, but I quite like what's happening here. He's just sitting there, minding his own business. <laughs> yeah, pheasants do look quite majestic, I always feel. Or oh, they're just running into things, running into cars. <laughs> Let me scoot this over and then I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. It looks quite dull on the... See, his little face. It's like a little pheasant. He looks okay, doesn't he? It's his face. And then it's got nice things happening all around here. His tail doesn't look like it matches him, but they don't have, they have um, brown tails and nice coloured tummy and back feathers, but not tails, which is weird. Anyway. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great day and I hope you liked my pheasant. He's not quite smiling. He looks a bit chirpier than he did, but no, no. <laughs> yeah, he's comfy. He just sat there. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me. It was a quick one today. I don't know. I'm not really in, in a painting mood today. So <laughs> I've got, I want to make some jewellery today. Or oh, some sun catchers. That's what I'm going to make. That's what I've got planned in my head anyway i'll show you tomorrow if i make any thanks for joining me everybody have a lovely day or evening night wherever you are bye